this video is going to talk about translating words into algebraic expressions. So when we see a problem like this one, three less than a number, this is a very key phrase, the less than. That always tells you to, if you see a less than or even a more than, although it's not as important with a more, but if anytime I see than, I think switch the order. So it looks like the three comes first. But the 3 will go on this side, and the number will go on this side. So the number, we'll call it n, less than means subtract. Okay, we'll get a better color. We want to subtract here, so we're going to subtract, and then minus 3. See how we switch the order? So let's look at this one. The difference, difference just means subtract. I don't have to worry about order. So order stays the same. So if I want to do this one, it's the difference of a number, so that would be n, and so I'm going to call this difference, we're going to make it green, and 15. n minus 15. The sum of a number Remember that sum means plus, and it's the same order, because it doesn't have that than in it. So it's going to be an n and 12, and we have, change my color here, we have an addition. So we would do, say that that is n plus 12. Okay, next problem. Product means multiply, and it's the same order. The only one you have to worry about is when it says less than. Those are the ones you have to really watch. So it's the same order. So you're going to have the product of a number, we'll call that n, and 7. So n times 7. All right. Here we have a more than, and I don't like to have to worry about whether I have a rule once. It's kind of like English, you know how sometimes it's I before E except after C. I don't like those rules because it makes it difficult to remember. So we're just going to say every time you see this then, you're going to switch the order. Oop, I forgot my C. All right. So. That means that the 6 is going to be over here, and the 4 times a number is going to be on this side. Okay, we also have a couple other things going on here, though, because we have 4 times, and that means multiply. So I have 4 times a number, but I have 6 more than that. Remember, more than is going to be addition. And I have to switch the order so the 6 comes last. So we can rewrite this as 4n plus 6. 4 times a number plus 6. 6 more than, I'm going to add on to, the 4 times a number. Product of 4 and a number is increased by 5. So let's look at our operations here. We have a product, that's multiplication. And then we have our 4 and a number. So all this goes together because that's a product. The product of 4 and a number is increased. And increase sounds like plus. And then we've got our 5. All right, so we increase by 5, same order. So how do we write the product of 4 and n? We would have 4 and a number, 4 times n, or just 4n, increased, plus, and then our 5. Last one. Quotient of 4 times a number and 5. What's a quotient? Well, a quotient is division. Okay? So the quotient of 4 times a number, there's multiplication, this is really 4, a number, we'll call that n, and 5. So we have 5 is going to go in a different place. So we need to put that 
in it in like this. So this is our first part is going to be 4n and then we do the quotient and then we can do the last part, the 5.